Whoa, my last video was controversial at best and I spent a couple hours just answering comments, but we just flew past 1000 subscribers. Congratulations, guys. Anyway, I have to get going. How's it going, fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. We are just about to go on an exciting road trip and I'm gonna tell you more about that in a second. Dude, you excited? Oh, or yeah. awesome road trip? Oh. Hoping it's gonna be an awesome road trip as long as we get Are there. you excited? <laughs> We're excited. By the way, you have to try the first time. Yes. I have to tell you guys, it's amazing how this whole trip came together. For starters, this cut wait. This big ass car was led to us by Harun. Oh, and my friend Addis had to do some work for his company, so they're gonna be covering the fuel, so everything's worked out. Uh, he's here on some kind of work thing, and I have to do some work as well. But the main thing that we're here for, wait, let, let me show you. So my friend Addis finally moved from a mid-range DSLR to a full frame mirrorless, yeah. It is second hand, but I mean, it's full frame. So pretty much for the price of a new entry level DSLR, you get this full frame, which has really high dynamic range. It has great low light. It even has the S-Log profile, color profile thingamajig. And it does pretty great autofocus when filming video, which is what entry level DSLRs are really bad at. Even though there is no in-body stabilization 4K or 120 FPS, which everybody loves. But I think for someone who's moving up in the ranks and testing out the full frame system, this is the perfect tool. But enough talk, let's go out and actually film something. Adis is out working right now, so I got the opportunity to play around with his camera. And I have to say, for the first time using it, it's pretty decent. I was too lazy to figure out how to enable the S-Log profile and then spend hours grading it because they say it's really tough, but even on these standard settings, the footage was pretty good. But apparently what it's known for, being called the low light king or monster, whatever, it's the A7S, is being able to shoot in really low light conditions. That's insane, I've used it at like 16,000 ISO with like usable footage for vlog and stuff. And you know what I think we should do? We should put it up on this here tripod and see what the vlog would look like. Okay, you ready for this? I'm not sure I am, but hell. Oh my God, it's so wide and my room's a mess. If I ever use this camera, I'm gonna have to start cleaning up my room. Maybe I should shoot with this lens instead, but like I'll, I'll never know when I'm in focus or not in focus. But guys, this is looking awesome. You have to see that. Wait, camera, turn on. Check it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this was just the first view of the new, not new camera that my friend got and we're gonna have to do a lot more in-depth analysis to actually see what's good, what's bad and how it functions. Like, see how awesome is this autofocus and you go whoop and it focuses back on your face. And of course, I need to compare it to my camera to see what would happen if I would get something like this. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and as always, I'm gonna see you guys next week. Meanwhile, I have to give this camera back to Adis. Well, where do you, where do you turn this off? Hello?